morning dear students we are studying about the characteristics of business activities and uh, so far we have uh, studied about a few uh, important characteristics of uh, business activities that is a uh, uh, first one it is an economic activity secondly we studied that production and procurement of uh, goods and services and uh, third we have studied sale or exchange of goods and services so we know that uh, uh, business is an uh, economic activity because uh, all the business transactions or business activities done for the purpose of making money or making a livelihood so that is why we can consider an economic activity so a business can be considered as an economic activity and production and procurement of goods and services so for uh, making a product to be sold or for making any uh, business we need to either produce or uh, purchase a product okay so a uh, person can either a uh, business uh, man can either produce a product by himself if he is having an industry he can produce or if he is having a farm so like some farm products he can produce so whatever may be there so he can either produce the product by himself or he can purchase from the one who has already produced the product okay and uh, it can be uh, sold so this is a th third aspect of this one is that uh, it should be sold or exchanged okay exchange or uh, sale of uh, goods and services so these uh, three characteristics we have already studied now we have to study the uh, fourth uh, point that is dealing in goods and services on a regular basis okay so the third uh, fourth characteristics is a uh, until four we have already studied dealing on a dealings on a regular basis dealings in uh, goods and services on a regular basis okay so uh, dealing with the goods and services in a uh, on a regular basis in a regular basis in the sense is as that as i told you mind that's like i purchased a bike and i used it for uh, 3 years and after that i felt that it is not good to, or i am not feeling comfortable i am i want to purchase a car so i sold this bike okay so it is an economic activity uh, because uh, i made a profit and uh, money motive is there okay but uh, uh, i purchased the product purchase is also there sale is also there and i made a profit also okay so in such a case can you consider it as a business it is not a business why because it is this point dealing of uh, goods and services on a regular basis so there should be a regularity regularly we should do this one. okay so i am i used to this uh, purchase this bike for the purpose of using it and i used it for some years and after that i sell it so the purchase is there sale is there but it doesn't mean that it is a business activity but imagine that see like if i am a, a second hand bike dealer and what i do is that i collect bike from some people those who are having already those who are not in need of bike i purchase a bike from them and i resell it to another people okay again i purchase bike from another person and uh, i sell it to another person so such a way i make profit so in that case i can say that this is a business so you can see if there are some uh, uh, sold goods or a second hand uh, bike or second hand uh, cars dealers and all are there some showrooms even are there so you can go there in that showroom you will get uh, plenty of uh, old bikes or second hand bike okay or used bikes so no so used bikes or used cars especially in city areas like like lucknow like or gorakhpur and all if you go you will find that uh, used cars and used bikes so people those who are using uh, one uh, like in city areas people they purchase it one uh, bike or car they use it for one year or two years after that they feel that uh, this car is not that much comfortable they will purchase new so then what old one they will sell it or they will exchange it in the showroom itself okay so this is a another uh, way of uh, that kind of activity can be considered as a, a business okay so the like if a business man is there so what he is doing is that if you go to like a shopkeeper is there one purchase a product he purchased and uh, sold it after that he is not sitting simply you know so what he is doing is that he will again he will purchase the product again he will sell it again he purchase sell it purchase sell it so this activity will continue you know so there is a regularity in the activity that he is performing so this is another important aspect of a business so if a purchase and sale has to become a business there should be regularity should be there on the regular basis he has to handle the product 
business involves dealing in goods or services on a regular basis one single transaction of a sale or purchase therefore does not uh, constitute business thus for example if a person sells his or her domestic radio set even at a profit it will not be considered a business activity but if he sells radio sets regularly either through a shop or from his or her residence it will be regarded as a business activity so if he is doing the activity it is not necessary that he has to run a shop for uh, selling the product he can uh, like there are like like uh, there are some people those who are uh, nowadays these people are there those who uh, sell so many business activities in their home itself like some nowadays like in the corona virus problem and all are there so at that time what people are doing they make mask so they are having machine they make mask and uh, sell it so they purchase the or sometimes they sell it in the market itself sometimes they sell it to the people those who are there nearby you know so some five rupees to rupees so they may use some clothes old clothes and or maybe there with that they make the mask and they will sell it for five rupees or ten rupees so they don't have much amount of expenditure they do their the clothes and all old clothes and all which is there that they will collect it and uh, with that they make the uh, uh, mask and sell it or if that uh, material for making the cloth like a surgical mask is there so that kind of cloth is available so that can be there and the elastic which is there so that has to be stitched and uh, they will sell it or some people are there nowadays like is lockdown situation and all are there so in our area and all there are so many people they started making cakes so they make birthday cakes they make a different type of cakes and they sell it okay so they start doing it as a business so uh, even my sister was there so she was making so she did not do it as a business so like uh, regularity is not there so but she is making and selling okay but uh, it is not as a very big business like she makes at home and uh, she herself sells so she makes different kinds of uh, uh, like cakes and uh, she distributed to the uh, to her friends uh, to our relatives and uh, our friends all these people are there so in that extent only really not like as a big business but she makes it and sell it so this can be considered as it can be if she is now she is study after her studies if she is having invest in this one then she can uh, make it in the as a business you know so any kind of business that we are doing so there should be regularity okay so when we do one kind of thing on a regular basis it can be considered as a uh, business activity and uh, it should be on a regular basis okay the next profit earning another important aspect of a, a very important uh, term that we have to understand is the profit okay so another characteristics of a business is that a businessman is doing the activity just for the purpose of making profit okay so a purpose of profit should be there even if he may not be able to make profit in every deal that he is making or every sale that he is making sometimes he may face loss also but it doesn't mean that uh, his purpose of uh, doing the business is uh, to make profit so that should, should be another important thing one of the main purpose of business is to earn income by way of profit no business can survive for a long without profit this is why businessmen make all possible efforts to maximize profits by increasing the volume of sale or uh, reducing cost okay so there are different uh, ways in which uh, we have to uh, we can make profit but uh, every businessman will try to make profit okay so profit is the main motive of a business okay so we know see like it is an economic activity so economic activity which means that it is done for the purpose of making money so how we can make money we can sell the product and make money you see no so if we want to make money imagine that see like if we are spending 100 rupees for manufacturing one product okay and if i am selling this for 100 rupees itself then is there any benefit there is no benefit because i spend the 100 rupees i 100 rupees was there in my pocket i spent that 100 rupees and i purchased one product for 100 rupees and i sold it to another person for 100 rupees itself so i won't get any money and it will not make my livelihood is it so if if i am doing such kind of activity even if regularly i am doing every day i am doing this one from morning till evening and in one day if i make if i sell 1000 product then also i will not get a single rupee also is it because i am selling it on the same price i am not getting any profit 
But if uh, this product is there, so I purchase it for 100 rupees and I sold it for 110 rupees. Then uh, I get a profit of uh, 10 rupees. Okay. So then I can uh, uh, get some benefit in that. So I purchased it for 10 rupees, 100 rupees and I sold it for 110 rupees and I made a profit of uh, 10 rupees. So this 10 rupees can be used for uh, my, uh, uh, it is, this money is the my income or the livelihood, it can be used for my livelihood. So in a day, if I sell 100 products, so total 100 products are there, so I will get the into 100,000 rupees. Okay, so this 1000 rupees can be used for my daily expenses. Okay, so such a way if I am doing transactions, so I am purchasing 100 uh, products for 100 rupees and I am selling uh, it for 110 rupees and in a day I am selling around uh, 100 products, it may be more than or more or less and around 1000 rupees as a uh, profit I am getting. So what happens with that money I can survive. If that money is not there or if that uh, uh, cannot be made and imagine that's like if, if I am purchasing this product for uh, 100 rupees and selling it for 90 rupees. Then what happens? There is a loss, you know, loss of uh, 10 rupees. And if I sell 100 products like this, I make a loss of uh, 1000 rupees. So what will happen? I cannot survive in that situation, you know. So if this for one day it may be uh, okay, but uh, next day, uh, with the, I may not have money to purchase the product, then uh, then I have to borrow money from somebody else. Then uh, if you ask to one person, then uh, two persons, then they may give. And afterwards, if again and again, if you ask to people to give money, they will not give you. So you will not have fund. If you ask for bank loan, you will not get because your business is running in loss. So the business, you cannot have a, such kind of a business. If the business is going without making profit, you cannot continue with the business. So maximum for one month or two months, you will be running somehow. You borrowing money from somebody else, taking loan from bank, or uh, if you have some properties, you are selling it and somehow you will manage. You know, see like this coronavirus problem and all are there. People are, uh, uh, see like even in our school, we can say that, see like the money is sufficient, not sufficient for paying the salary of the teachers or uh, for other expenditures. So what will happen? We will be, we will have to manage with the, uh, any excess money that we have already stored or with that we have to uh, uh, wrap, you know, or we have to re uh, reduce the salary of the teachers. You know, so they will become uh, like 50% uh, of the salary will be reduced from the teachers. So that uh, such kind of activity has to be done so that, so that uh, in order to manage the cost. So if we are not getting sufficient amount of income, then we cannot survive. Okay. If, it, if this case continue for a longer duration, then what will happen? The employees will leave. So, you know, so if we are not giving salary to the employees, then they will leave. So, you know, so then they will not continue. They will not think that uh, they will for one month or two months if they are not giving salary and they say that it's because of your business crisis and we will be paying it back afterwards, then they will adjust it. But uh, if it is continued for a longer duration, they will say that we are, they are also depending on this money for uh, their own income or their own livelihood, so they will leave and the company has to close down. There is no any other uh, means. So if such kind of a company is there, so then uh, it cannot run for a longer duration. So if the company wants to run for a longer duration, there is a need of profit. Okay, so profit is a very important aspect, a very important need of the organization. So every organization in this world is running, every business is running for a purpose of making profit. But uh, there is no any guarantee that always the profit will be there. So there is chance of a loss also. There may be loss. Okay, and if we get a loss, it doesn't mean that uh, the business is going to be closed. Okay, so profit is a very much important aspect of the business organization. Okay. The next topic that we have to study is the uncertainty of return. So the benefit that we are getting or the result or output of the business that we have to get whether there is no any guarantee that we will be able to get a uh, benefit. Okay. So the return that we, we are going to get is the unfair.
next point is that uncertainty of return. So, see, like if we are investing uh, uh, two one crore rupees into a business, but how much benefit you will get in business? See, imagine that, see, like if you are depositing hundred rupees in a bank, okay, and if you are maintaining it for one year, so the bank is guaranteeing you that they will give you like a, a five percentage of interest if you make it. See, like. A, if the company is saying that bank is saying that if you make an FD of uh, 100 rupees for one year, they will give you eight percentage of uh, uh, interest. It means that uh, if you keep one year this 100 rupees in the bank for a, one year, then at the end of this one year they give you 108 rupees. It means 100 rupees the money that you have invested and uh, the eight rupees the profit that the company has already uh, or the interest that the uh, bank has offered you. Now the interest rate has reduced. It gives around 6.5 or uh, mm, 6.75 like that. So 6.5 and all is the maximum amount of uh, uh, interest that the banks are providing. Earlier 7.5 or uh, 8 up to 8 percentage of interest was provided for the FDs that we were making. But after the demonetization, the banks have reduced their interest rates because they faced a lot amount of losses and in order to uh, recover the losses they have uh, they are now charging, they are giving only a very less amount of interest and even for uh, the savings account that we are having, so the savings money that we are depositing in the bank account, we get around 4 percentage interest earlier, now it reduced to 3 or 3.5 for 3 percentage, around 3 percentage interest only the bank is providing, okay. So, but if whatever maybe there are at least 3 or 1 percentage also there, but uh, there is a guarantee that the, the bank is, if you deposit this money into the bank, the bank is giving you a guarantee that after 1 year or after 1 month or after 6 months, whatever maybe the period that you are depositing, after that period the bank will give you this money along with the interest. There is a guarantee. So, so you uh, deposit this money to somebody or if you mind that you are giving this money to somebody else, as you are having some money, like one lakh rupees you are having and you are giving to uh, your friend or anybody else. So what happens is that you make an agreement with that person or you see like uh, if there is any property. So you will take as a mortgage, you know, so you will take uh, and uh, uh, submit it for a uh, security line. So you have to submit some product as a security, you will get it and uh, in return you have some gold or some uh, other type of things you will take as a security and you get money. After one year, or after the period that is uh, allotted, he will give you back the money. Okay. But when the money is deposited into a business, there is no any guarantee that uh, the money that you have invested will be received back or how much percentage of the money that you have invested will be go, uh, getting back. There is no any guarantee. Uncertainty of return. So there is no any certainty, there is no any guarantee that uh, you will get this money back. Okay. So uncertainty of return refers to the lack of knowledge rela uh, relating to the amount of money that the business is going to earn in the in a given period. Every business invests money to run its uh, activities with uh, the objective of any profit, but it is not certain as to what amount of profit will be earned. Also there is always a possibility of losses being incurred despite the best efforts put into the business. Okay. So, if you have 1 lakh rupees and you are investing by using this money, you start a business and uh, sometimes you will be successful and if your business gets successful, you will get the money back, okay. You will get a, uh, see like a, uh, maybe like a 50,000 rupees or 20,000 rupees as a profit. But sir, there is no any guarantee, there is no any certainty because we don't know what is going to happen in the future. Okay. So nowadays, if you produce a product uh, and when you bring it into the market, there is no any guarantee that uh, this product will be demanded or this product will be purchased by the customer. You made a very nice product with a lot amount of efforts, but uh, you uh, bring it into the market, but there are there is maybe another product which is available already in the market and the people are more interested in that because they have uh, trust, trust on that particular company and they will continue purchasing that. They are not going to purchase your product because it is having very good quality. Because they don't know that this product is having very good quality. Once they purchase and use it, then only they will come to know that uh, the quality of the product is there. But once if you are unable to make a sale to the customer, and if the customer is unable to identify or uh, uh, if they are unable to understand that there is a uh, good quality of this one, then uh, the business will not be successful. 
okay so this is another very uh, important uh, problem or characteristics of a business so business so imagine that like if i go for a job so if when i am going for an interview i am i am ready so that i am having some qualification and i am going for a job when i go for a job i ask uh, uh, they will ask me questions and after that they will decide that uh, uh, yeah, yes you are eligible for uh, uh, taking this post so what you will do is that you will ask uh, what must be the salary that you are getting so or the uh, the manager of that or the hr manager will be there so he will be discussing with you that the salary how much you are going to get so they will say that like 25000 rupees or 50000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees is the salary that they are providing so once if they see say that or once if they make a guarantee that you are going to get 50000 as your salary it means that at the end of one month if you work for one month you will get a 50000 so that is quite sure there is no much uh, this one so but uh, mostly the all the companies which are going under the rules and uh, they have to pay, they pay you money so one year or one month if you work at the end of the month you can say that you will get a money in return so you there is a certainty but when you do a business this certainty is not there so you started a business you invested money into this one and you started business you worked really hard not just like the uh, other one because this is all your own business so you used all your efforts at the end of the month there is no any uh, guarantee that uh, you will get the money in return okay so there is no any certainty so what is going to happen in the future we don't know. if we if we are lucky then at the end of the month uh, we will have some profit and uh, with that uh, we will be able to survive otherwise we may be facing loss and there is not only we may we may be able to make profit but uh, there is another big issue that there is a chance of a uh, loss also okay so you have made a very nice uh, uh, company showroom made and uh, all the money that you have paid everything is made ready but uh, when you are making this product available to the mark, uh, customers so at that time if the lockdown is so you cannot open the shop then what will happen you cannot sell the product and the government is telling that for one month lockdown and after one month you are uh, taking see like if you started a fruit shop and you purchased a large amount of uh, uh, large quantity of uh, fruits and you stored it in the shop and uh, you are going to open the shop but at that time if the government declares that uh, tomorrow onwards there will be lockdown so then what will happen you cannot open this and what happens after one month only this is opening after one month what will be the condition of the fruits that you have purchased everything will be lost is it or if you are uh, doing business then uh, those things will be lost so there are so many companies that they are facing loss in this uh, uh, this corona virus situation uh, facing huge amount of loss the, the companies which were running with a lot amount of profit now they are running in loss they don't have the money to pay the salary to the employees they don't have money to the, uh, pay the daily expenses okay so there is a no any guarantee that uh, you will get the money in return okay so you will should be ready so like if you are in, ready going to invest 1 lakh rupees into a business the you should think all, also think that this 1 lakh rupees may be fully lost also okay sometimes even more than that has to be lost because you are investing this money and you are thinking that the business is going to be in loss so you have to invest more money into this this in order to balance but uh, afterwards you will come to know that everything in that you have invested is lost is it so huge amount of uh, loss may be there so there is a uncertainty of return and the next point is also somewhat connected to this one there is element of risk there is an element of risk what is the element of risk the same thing uncertainty of return is the element of risk so when you do a business there is no any guarantee that you will get the money back there's a chance of loss that is the risk that we have to face okay risk is the uncertainty associated with any exposure or exposure to loss it is caused by sun some unfavorable or undesirable event risk are related with factors like a changes in customers taste and fashion changes in the manner of production strike or lockdown a uh, lockout at the workplace 
increased competition in market, fire, theft, accidents, natural calamities, etc. No business can uh, altogether do away with the risk. So there is a risk. Okay, the risk factor is very much important uh, in the fact in the case of a business. Okay, so whenever we do business, so there is a huge amount of risk. Okay, so it is said that the profit is the reward of a risk taking. Okay, so how much profit you want to make, that much risk you have to take, and how much risk you take, that much amount of uh, profit you can make. That is the uh, policy of risk. So, if you make, if you want to make more profit, you have to make more risk. You have to face more risk. Okay. So, doing a business is a very risky task. Okay. So, it is a, uh, not an easy job. Okay. So, it is not a bed of roses. It? So, it cannot be considered as a bed of roses. It is. So, you can see like the rose. You know, looking at the rose, you can find that it is very beautiful. But there are thorns on that. You know, so there are thorns. Thorns means what? That there are uh, needles like things, sharp things. Are. So if you try to pluck the flower, you will find that uh, if you are not careful about it, you will, uh, you, you, your hands will get cut. So this is what the business is. Okay. So when you look from outside, the business is very much beautiful, very much attractive. And you will think that you can make a large amount of profit. But when you come closer to the business, you will find that there are painful experiences also. Okay, there is a beauty in that. There is a chance of success in that. But at the same time, there is a chance of risk. So we should be ready to take this risk. And if we are ready to take this risk, then we will be able to make profit. Okay, and how much more risk you are taking, that much more profit we can make. Okay, so the amount of risk that we are taking is depending on the expectation of profit that we are going to get. Okay. So, these are the different factors that we have studied, the characteristics we have studied so far about the different characteristics of business activities. So, this is a very important topic. We have to understand, if we want to understand what is business, we have to understand these characteristics also. Okay. So, we will have a just a revision of the topics called the points that we have studied. First, we have studied that uh, it is a economic activity. So, economic activity means that it is done for the purpose of making money or uh, making a livelihood. It is for the life of a person. Okay. So, business is also done for, with the purpose of uh, making a livelihood. Secondly, we studied that uh, it is connected with the purchase or uh, procurement of uh, goods and services. Okay. So, if, if we want to sell a product, uh, first we have to either produce a product or procure a product. Procure in the sense that we have to purchase this product from some other shop which they have already produced. Okay. So, this is the second important factor. The third point that we have studied is the sale or exchange of the product. The product has to be handed over to the another person. If you simply purchase a product and keep it in our house or keep it in our uh, home, we cannot say that uh, it is a business. We have to sell this product. Okay. Sell this product to someone else and exchange will be there. So, we would give this product to somebody and you get the money in return. So that is the exchange. Okay. So, uh, the next one is that uh, dealing of goods and services on a regular basis. So, regularity is another important aspect. So we need to maintain a regularity, regular uh, business. It is not that uh, you do business for one day, then after that you will do it for, uh, uh, you will not do it for many days, then after that again you make it, sale, not like that. So, every day, it doesn't mean that every day business will be there, but there should be regularity. Okay. So, it's uh, the same action may be repeated many times. Okay. So, the duration may not be, uh, there is no any consideration. Like, see, like you are making a sale in a one month, once in a month only. There is no problem. Next month again another sale will be there. Next month another sale. And in one month there, there may not be sale also. Or there are some people like this, like you see that um, uh, real estate brokers and all that. Real, real estate business. So you are doing real estate business means that uh, you purchase a land and you make a building, a house and you sell it. Okay, every day you are not making sale. You purchase this building, you purchase a land, you make the building. It may take one year time for making the building. Then after that you will search for a customer and you will sell it. And uh, you may sell it maybe once in two, two or three years. Okay. okay, again you do the same activity. So that is a business. 
And people do their business like that. Then that is also considered as a business. There is a regularity in the sense it doesn't mean that every day it has to be there. Okay? But a repetition of the activities will be there. Okay? So we will do the activity on a regular basis. So once you purchase this land, you make a building, you sell it, again you purchase land. With that money, the money that we have already we sold, with that money we purchase another land and uh, uh, we may make another building and uh, we sell it. So this activity will keep on continuing. So that is called as a regularity. Okay. Then we uh, study that next important point is that uh, profit any. So profit is the reward we have to do for, for the activities that we are doing. So business, all the business activity that we are performing for the purpose of making profit. And another thing is that the next point that we have studied is the uncertainty of return. There is no any guarantee that uh, how much amount of profit we are going to get or sometimes the money that we have invested also we may not get back. Okay, so there is a issue like that. Then the last point we have studied that there is a element of risk. So risk is a very important or unavoidable factor in the business and there will always be a risk and if we are ready to take the risk then only we will be able to make profit. Okay, so these are the things, that, these are the characteristics of business activities. So far we have studied and you have to uh, study about these type of points. Okay, hope you have understood about these uh, topics. Okay, thank you so much.